Hi everyone, so today's adventure isn't about me finding something for the store or even finding something for myself. Today is about my kid, Steven. So he's my oldest son. Uh, at the time the video was coming out here, he's 13 years old. He's turning 14 pretty soon, which in my area means that when he turns 14, he can start to drive. So as scary as of a thought that that is of my kid being on the road, you know, he's excited for it. I'm excited for him. So uh, about three, four months ago or so, we picked him up a old Honda motorcycle. Now it's a Honda 50 Cub. He's able to drive that without um, a full license. You can use your learner's permit and drive a 50cc or under scooter. But I didn't want to get him something that looked like a normal scooter. You know, we wanted something kind of cool for him, his first vehicle. And plus we have an antique shop. So, you know, I sourced something really cool. And that was a Honda 50 Cub with the factory racing kit, the club kit on it with the cafe seat and the whole deal. Now the bike was in kind of tough shape, but I have a friend who has a restoration shop and we did a, a couple favors for him and uh, his organization this past year and he has been kind enough to uh, look after the bike for us and do a few little renovations to it. So I'm gonna be picking it up this morning. Not sure what it's gonna look like. Uh, the motor needed a little bit of attention. Uh, so I'm expecting, you know, at least uh, we'll have the motor done on it and um, hopefully he'll be riding this thing soon. So let's head off down the road and go pick this thing up. Last year I picked up kind of a special Honda Cub for my son. It was in pretty tough shape though and hadn't run in years. The engine was seized and I've taken it in to see if perhaps a friend of ours who runs a shop can get a fix. So we're gonna go check on it and see how it turned out. And I should say my son Steven has no idea that I'm doing all this right now. He knows that the motor was out getting fixed but he doesn't know anything else. So this should be a real surprise for him. So how was the Honda Cub born? Well, the year was 1956. So Shiro Honda, who was an auto mechanic and had recently formed Honda Motors and an all around cool guy, traveled to Germany with a business partner. What they saw was a nation on two wheels. The Germans had mopeds pretty much everywhere. Convinced he could build one for the masses back home in Japan, blueprints were drawn up and in 1958, the Super Cub would hit the market. With an ambitious plan to distribute globally, new production facilities were built and an advertising campaign in the United States and North America began with the slogan, you meet the nicest people on a Honda. Even the Beach Boys did a song, Little Honda, later covered by the group, The Hondells. Yes, these little bikes took America by storm and did away with the biker image and gave it a friendly college feel. Since then, over 100 million Honda Cubs have been produced, making it one of the most prolific mass-produced vehicles in the ranks with Model T. Early examples are very collectible, and the Roadster Kit versions are particularly rare as they only made a handful of them. They did not sell very well, they didn't add to the performance or function of the vehicle, so they never really took off and Honda cancelled this program in the early 70s. So finding one today is a very rare feat in itself, and getting one that's a running, restored bike makes it all the better. Well, I gotta tell you, this thing looks like brand new. Better than new. It is. Well, the white walls ended up being kind of a cute touch on it too, hey? <laughs> I know they probably wouldn't have put white walls on a racy bike back then, but I thought it looked good. Jesus, it ever looked good. He's gonna flip his little wig. If I was a 14 year old getting something like this, I think I'd be beside myself. <laughs> yeah, it really looks museum quality. I mean, geez, you guys did the paint. Proper fender on the front. Well, yeah, we put all supply all the missing parts and stuff, but uh, I put a kilometer uh, speedo in it so that uh, there's no confusion if the young fellow does take it out on the street. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. This is simply amazing. I'm beside myself with the quality of work that these guys did. I mean, they do museum quality restorations, and I certainly wasn't expecting them to do a full frame off restoration on this bike. This is a rare little piece, and now it's in showroom condition. I mean, everything from the, the proper front fenders to the signal, everything is working on it. So um, we're going to get this started up in a couple minutes here and hear it run for the first time. So pretty cool. And Steven, if you're watching, uh, Dad loves you a lot. If I was you and I was 14, I would love this thing too. And the traditional Honda Cub actually had a white sort of fairing, plastic fairing that came down, and the tank was around here with the seat. Now, you had a kit option where you could take that off, put a, a racier, bigger tank and seat on. So that's what this one has. 
the the goal with this is I'm gonna put it in the uh, in the garage and cover it up. Oh yeah, right on. And then Christmas morning, I think we're gonna wheel it out by the tree. So when he comes down, there's gonna be, you know, like a blanket or something on top of it. So. Uh, Did you get a motorcycle for Christmas? <laughs> well, I told him that, you know, when you're old enough to drive a car, this will go to your little brother. Oh, right. Because the kids are all spaced out about two, three years. Oh, good. Um, so that'll, and then his sister will be the last one. So. Okay. Buying here's the battery. I don't like to leave the batteries hooked up because these six volt batteries go. Oh, yeah, they drain pretty quick. Oh, quickly, yeah. And this is just the ground strap. Well, it isn't. It's some way Honda does it. But anyway, just plug that together. Okay, yeah, get the battery hooked up. And you're ready to go. And then turn it on to reserve. There's not much gas in it. There's just a little bit. Oh, yeah, it. that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Put the stroke up. Give it a butter. Turn throttle. Wow. Yeah. Well, we know the signal light's working. Boy, is it ever quiet. It is quiet. Isn't it? That's got to sound like they did when they were brand new, I imagine. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, new head, or new old stock head, new piston, new rings. Mm -hmm. It's got the 55 cc. Okay, it's got the big bore kit in it. <laughs> I see you managed to find a cap for the top too. You made it. You made it. Yeah. So you took the base off the old one and fused some rubber. Wow, you guys yeah. are handy. Just be careful when you screw it down, you don't pop the top off. Okay. There's an O-ring in the bottom here. I put an O-ring right on there okay, so, so you can't go all the way down. Okay, good. So just turn it down about that far. So I, put it I think that's what the last guy did. He went down too far and yeah. it popped yeah. the top off. Boy, guys, this thing is fantastic. Yeah, yeah it is a sweet little ride. I've got it secretly hidden in my garage. I'm gonna cover it up with this floral blanket. He'll never think to look under that until Christmas, where it will make its big debut. There, it's pretty well disguised. Blends in with all my other covered vehicles hidden in the garage right now. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna come out here and even think twice about what that is under there. So we just need to find the screwdriver. What kind of screwdriver? Uh, I'll come with you one. Come with you one. Yeah. But can you do me a favor first? Do you look underneath that blanket? Okay. Oh. What? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's what? totally restored. It looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like brand new now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm gonna be driving around on that. Is the kick started? Yeah. yeah. How does it feel? It feels nice. Yeah. So, you know what happened? I took it in there and asked them just to fix the motor, and they rebuilt the entire thing, like new paint, um, like new front fender. It's like a brand new bike. It's basically like a brand new Honda. That's actually so cool. <laughs> it's really cool. So Stephen really loved the bike. Um, it couldn't have gone any better. And you know, big thanks to the folks that uh, helped me out with the bike. I mean, I took it in. Um, I had done some favors for them, and they did the bike for me uh, at no cost. And you know, there's some good people out there in this world, and they're definitely good people to take care of us and. Uh, get us this bike for my son, looking so fantastic. So very happy about that. So Steven is uh, studying and getting ready for his uh, learner's permit up here, his driver's exam that he needs to take. Uh, when you're 14, you can actually ride a bike like this that's uh, under 50 cc's and doesn't have a clutch. So uh, you can ride that thing all on the street. So he's gonna have a pretty happy, cool little summer coming along and I'm excited for him. I would have loved to have had something like that when I was a kid. So thanks so much for watching this week's adventure. Um, glad to share that with you. Um, you know, it's always fun to, to take care of your kids and try and do something fun for them. And 
the total cost that we were into that bike for was less than a thousand bucks and it's valued surprisingly uh, at about ten thousand dollars now because it is a pretty rare piece with the factory race kit on it so um, hopefully he'll be careful with it and keep it safe you know letting your kid out there on something like that's a little nerve-wracking but uh, you know gotta have faith in the kid so uh, thanks so much guys hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you all soon bye for now